Do you have a ton of clothes and nothing to wear? Don't worry. Today I'm gonna explain five simple steps to solve this issue. And if you live in Australia, stick around till the end of this video because I have a bonus tip for you. I'm Layana, eco-stylist and founder of Swap a Porter. My mission is to help women to build their dream wardrobe without harming the planet or the wallet. Before applying these five steps to your wardrobe, it's essential that it's already gone through a detox. Detox is basically getting rid of everything that doesn't reflect your style, doesn't fit you well, and hasn't been used for a long time. I already showed how to do a complete detox in my last video that's showing up here. Be sure you check it out so that you understand this overhaul wardrobe sequence of videos. Once your wardrobe is decluttered, it has only pieces that reflect your personal style, it's time to check if they also reflect your lifestyle. You know, a dream wardrobe is made not only of clothes we love, but also functional clothes. For example, having 10 night out dresses when you spend most of your time at a uni or studying at home doesn't make any sense, right? They won't make you feel any more stylish since you hardly ever wear them. In other words, our wardrobe must contain clothes to be used in real life and not in a dream life that we would like to have. This is when we start to get frustrated with our closet and we don't understand why. Of course, for us women, it's much more fun to buy quirky and trendy clothes than to buy basic pieces. To prevent us from falling into this mistake again and again, let's apply these five steps to align our wardrobe to our lifestyle. First step, write down in a notebook or on your cell phone, computer, whatever, a list of every activity you do in two typical weeks of your life. This includes everything from chilling at home watching Netflix to having dinner with clients at, fa at fancy restaurants. Remember, you are writing down here what you really do, not what you want to do. On this list, include an estimation of how many days out of those two weeks you are dressed for that specific activity. For example, Julia works in an office for Monday to Thursday, which are four days a week. So, Julia needs eight outfits to work in the office for the two weeks. On Fridays, she works from home, so she needs two outfits for this occasion. She goes to network events once a week, so she needs two outfits to attend these events. Julia goes out at night either to restaurant or pubs once a week. There are two outfits for these occasions. She goes out to dance every Saturday, so she needs two party outfits and so on. I'll leave all the Julia's templates on my Instagram feed, Sopa Porte, so that you can consult them while you're doing your own exercise. The second step is to analyze on your list what are the activities which you could wear the same type of clothes. Place them into a single category and adapt the total number of times you need an outfit for each category. For example, analyzing Julia's list, I can see that she could wear the same type of clothes when she goes to work, in the office, or for networking events. On these occasions, she has to use a corporate dress code. So we created the work category and adapt the days that Julia goes to the office and to the network events. We can also create a category named as casual daytime and group under it the activities working from home and meeting friends for lunch. We can also merge dining or drinking with friends and dancing under the night out category, and so on. The third step is a fun one. I am sure you laugh at me when I say it. Using the numbers on your list of category, we will draw a pie chart. At this moment, you must be judging me as a crazy methodical YouTuber. <laughs> she even creates statistics from a wardrobe. I strongly believe that a pie chart is the easiest way to see the situation clearly and it's not too complicated to make. Here, we have a visual explanation of kind of clothes we really need. You can draw it on a paper, don't worry about exact measurements, you are just trying to get an idea of proportions, so eyeballing is fine. However, if you are a statistic freak like me, 
register at the link below and I will send you the Excel spreadsheet template and the instructions on how to create your customized pie chart. It's very easy, I promise. Then, the fourth step is to create another chart, this time with the number of clothes you have in your wardrobe. To start with, break down your clothes into the categories you created earlier. Let's look at Julia's example again. She has the categories work, casual daytime, night out, chilling at home, gala, and working out. After Julia has divided all the clothes from her wardrobe into these categories, she will count how many are in each. With these numbers, she will create the second graph that shows the proportion of clothes she has for each occasion. You will also receive the template for this chart if you register at the link below. Now, the last but not the least step is compare the two pie charts. If possible, write a short report analyzing how each category of your wardrobe has been represented, if they are under, over or well represented. For example, in Julia's charts, we can see that uh, clothes for working are underrepresented since they account for 15% of her wardrobe when in fact she needs 25%. Now, when we look at the night out clothes, we see that Julia has two times more clothes than she really needs for that category. Based on the comparisons, Julia now is aware that she should stop adding clothes to the night out part of her wardrobe. However, it's clear that Julia needs to add more clothes into her work and workout categories. And that's it, girls! These five steps will help you to build a smart wardrobe and they are so easy to apply that you can start right now. Make it nice and fun. Invite a friend to do the wardrobe charts with you and in the end you can even swap with her the clothes you have in excess but she lacks and vice versa. Just imagine how your life will change. You'll be able to dress for every single occasion of your day to day, saving time and a lot of money. And if you live in Australia, here is the bonus tip for you. You can fill the gaps you found in your closet index without spending a penny. How come? Easy! Join Sopa Porte Instagram page and exchange the clothes that are overrepresented in your wardrobe with the clothes you really need. Our next virtual clothing swap is happening on September 19. On this event, we will be swapping spring clothes as the white flower season has just arrived in the Lost Down Wonder. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to activate the bell to receive all these style tips that are to come. See you next time!